Hi, and welcome to Premier Literacy's tutorial on Universal Reader. We're going to start off this tutorial by clicking on the Universal Reader icon in the Premier toolbar. You'll see it here. Click on that, and the Universal Reader window comes up. So I'm just going to go over a few of the options in this introductory video. We're going to start off by clicking on the Options button. So on the Options screen, you'll see here we've got Key Echo. So that'll actually repeat back in a voice any keys that you do type in there. Um, we want to make sure that the Automatically Get Text option is selected here. And that way, anything that you have selected, um, the Universal Reader will be able to pull the information back into it and read it aloud for you. Um, word Repeat is going to echo back the words that you type in there as you space. The stay loaded in system tray will make sure that that stays loaded down in this area here for you. The sound you hear in the background right now is our train of thought chugging along happily. The small icons just changes the way this looks for you here. Show view window is going to display our text inside this white window that you see here. And keep universal reader on top is just going to make sure that it stays above any other program and doesn't end up hiding on you. The color, the font size, and the font can all be adjusted here, and you'll see a sample down below. So if we wanted to change how that looks, we can do that, change it to green on black, we can up the font size if we like, and we could change it to Times New Roman, Arial, or just leave it on the serif font. You'll also see a reset flash option, might become useful if you do experience any issues with it. But for now, we're just going to click on the close button and go back and look at some other options. So as you can see, our view window has changed here to reflect the settings that we picked. Now, if we hit this drop down here, we also have a few um, other options. So the options will just take us back to the last screen that we were on, as you can see. But if we go to the voices screen, this is Capsicle David. This is where we're going to be able to select the voice that we're using and the rate that it speaks at. You'll see the voice rate slider here. So if we turn that down, rate is minus four. Well, it speaks slower to you. And three. you can turn it up as well. So there's also an option to automatically translate text. So if you put a check in that box, any uh, text that's in a different language um, or whichever language you have selected here will be translated for you. Right now we have English to French, but we can also select different languages back to English, as you can see in this drop-down list here. You can test the voice there as well by clicking the test button. We're just going to click OK to get back. So that covers most of the options that we'll need to look at for now within Universal Reader Plus. What I'm going to do now is go ahead and show you how to read from a document. So I've already gone ahead and opened up an Internet Explorer window here. I'll click on that. As you can see, I've got the Universal Reader window kind of floating above it. The Always on Top option is responsible for that. Kind of gets in the way if you're doing something like viewing a web page, but you may notice it could be useful in some cases. We're going to turn that off for now. Go back in here, and I'll uncheck the Keep Universal Reader on Top option. So we just close out of there, and when we go back to the Internet Explorer window, it just hides behind it now. So I've selected some text here. I'm going to go ahead and make that selection once again. And then we'll go back to Universal Reader and click on the Read button. Universal Reader Plus is a very easy to use utility that works with virtually any application. Use it to read your email, your Word documents, even web pages. It is as simple as selecting what you want to read, clicking on the floating toolbar, and it starts to read. I just clicked on the pause button there, so what that'll do is it'll actually let you just pause it for a moment, and when you click read, it will continue reading. Um, I'm going to start reading again, and actually what we'll do is we'll restart the reading by clicking rewind. Universal Reader Plus is a very easy to use utility that works with virtually any application. You and we can also use the stop button to stop the reading. Email, your Word documents. The so when you click the stop button, you'll actually have to go back in and highlight some new text before you can click read again to read that. So that's just a demonstration of the reading and some of the options within Universal Reader Plus. That concludes our introduction to it. In the next videos, we'll touch on the summarization, the talking pointer, and the flash reading options. 
So I'd just like to thank you for watching and be sure to check out www.readingmadeeasy.com for some more support videos. Thank you.